up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another New York Giants update video. As many of you may know already because it happened live on stream last night. Last night was the Young Gun podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. It was, you know, our one of our best episodes viewer wise you know we had a ton of viewership ton of likes you guys were pretty good with that uh shout out to special guest steffi smalls that came on as well this happened like literally 10 minutes into the podcast the giants signing minnesota t uh, vikings defensive end ifidi obenigdu i may have mispronounced that name i'm gonna try it once more ifidi odenigbo all right, bam. I think I think I got the second time. Only 26 years old, pass rusher from the Vikings. And this is the third year in a row that the Giants have taken a chance on a very low risk, very high reward type pass rusher. We did it three years ago with uh, Marcus Golden, or I should say two years ago with Marcus Golden. We did it last year with Kyler Fackrell. It looks like we're doing it this year with Efidi. And I'll tell you this right now, all, well, I was going to say all three, but only two of them have played out. But all two of the signings worked out. Of course, Marcus Golden had the most success when he had 10 sacks for us. Kyler Fackrell last year, he was used, you know, every now and then. He wasn't used as much as Golden was, but I think Fackrell was a successful signing for the way we used him. And I fully expect Afidi to be a successful signing for us. This is an underrated, under the radar type player right here that the Giants got for really, really cheap. Once again, just one year, two and a half million. Some of you may look at the stats and see the seven sacks in 2019 and the three and a half in 2020 and say, well, what's so special about him? I'll tell you right now, as usual, not everything can be found in the stats. This guy is going to be a hand in the dirt player for us. So I, I don't really expect him to come off the edge, you know, as an outside linebacker like that. You know, he's 6'3", 258. He's a power rusher type player. He get and he pressures the pocket quite nicely and you know he pushes the pocket quite nicely i'll tell you that you know in fact i remember last year or was it last year or was it 2019 when we played the vikings he had a sack against daniel jones i think he had his first sack against daniel jones but he's going to be a hand in the dirt player for us so he's going to be shifting along that defensive line and i'm honestly even before the signing i was happy with the defensive line um you know people were worrying about how we're going to replace dalvin thomason i think uh some of some of us may have forgot that, well, Dalvin Thompson's replacement is already here in the form of B.J. Hill and Dexter Lawrence. Or, you know, whether or not that means shifting Dexter over or just having B.J. become the nose, it doesn't matter. His replacement was already there. And now you, you add another pass rushing, uh, you know, defense. He's a defensive end, but, you know, he's going to be playing, uh, I want to say, left defensive end because Leo plays right defensive end or one way or the other. He's going to be there at hand in the dirt as one to three guys in the middle. And he's going to have a good time there. I, in fact, I think he's better than RJ McIntosh, who I have a lot of faith in. And I, and I love RJ McIntosh. I think he's a great role-playing defensive uh, end for us. And he might be better than uh, BJ Hill. And those are the guys that he might beat out the spots for. Or, or you know, they're, they're probably going to rotate him. But I'm liking the rotation that they're forming here at defensive end for the Giants with the three in the middle, man. You know what? Scratch that. I'm loving it. ba da pa 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 I'm, I'm loving it. I'm not sponsored by McDonald's. McDonald's, don't sue me. Don't copyright this. It's it's just a joke. But guys, this is a really good signing. We're going to have Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, Afidi, BJ Hill, RJ McIntosh. We still got Austin Johnson. Like Our defensive line is stacked. There's a reason we're continuing to fortify it and making sure that it stays as strong as it is because it's it's the strongest part of our defense. You know what I mean? I love the signing. Can't wait to see how it plays out. This is only good things can come from this in my opinion i don't see this failing at all it's not like the john ross one where it's like high um you know low risk high reward where it's like there's a chance it could fail i think this is like extremely 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 low risk high reward if that makes any sense and then of course the second news for today at least so far you know i'm recording this it's like 10 15 in the morning um kenny galladay kenny galladay is supposed to meet with the new york giants um some reports saying today some reports don't have a date at all but the rumors and at least a lot of people seem to be convinced that he's meeting with the New York Giants today. And guys, Kenny Galladay is all but a done deal to the Giants. And I am so, so happy. Um, not only am I happy that, you know, we may. And you know what? I'm going to speak in terms, you know, as if we already have him. 
I'm sorry if I do that. I, I'm just so excited and, and my heart really wants this right now. If this doesn't happen, I think I'm gonna be hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily gonna be angry. I know some people are gonna be angry at the front office and, and at the coaches and whatnot, but I really don't think you should. Don't be angry at Kenny Galloway for sure because he wants to come here. And that's the main reason that I'm so happy. I'm not just happy that we're getting a legitimate wide receiver number one proven guy for the first time since Odell and possibly cheaper than what the market, you know, what we thought the market would be on him because there's a lot of reports coming out saying that NFL teams don't value him as high as they, um, as, as Kenny Galladay value in terms of wealth. And of course, there was that report that says he's going to go between 14 and 16 mil. So we might get him, you know, for cheap, all things considered as well. But I'm really happy because we got Kenny Galladay and the rebuild is over, in my opinion. I'm not saying we're a Super Bowl team. And shout out to Joseph Clark. He was really the first person that kind of presented this idea to me. And I really do agree with it. It doesn't mean we're a Super Bowl team. It doesn't mean that, you know, we're going to be heavily competing, you know, immediately. But it does mean that the rebuild is finished if we get Kenny Galladay. I think the rebuild is, you know, it comes to a full circle. At that point, we have a legitimate defense. I mean, we've had a legitimate defense since last year, since the 2020 season. That defense is only going to improve, in my opinion, in the draft. And what we needed to do was, you know, get some legit offensive weapons and fix the offense for our quarterback. Well, we're getting the um, legit offensive weapons. The offensive line isn't there yet, but you hope that the young pieces develop and well that's really it right it comes down to jason garrett so in terms of getting players for the team i think the rebuild would be complete once you know we have kenny Galley. and and i've been saying a similar sentiment for a while which is i think this off season if it goes right would be the last off season the giants need to get their rebuild done because i've been saying i think we could be a playoff team this year you know what i mean we, we really could it, obviously it's going to be a battle between the giants and the washington football team for the nfc east title but we don't necessarily need to win the nfc east the giants when they won their super bowls the past couple of times was off the wild card um you know what i mean and I, well, although one time was us winning the nfc i think 2011 we did win the nfc east i think uh don't quote me on that i might be wrong i might be misremembering but that's the main reason i'm so happy about kenny golly a player wants to come here and the last time that happens, I can't even remember. It shows that the word that everybody likes to mock, culture, has legitimately changed. It shows that the Giants are once again a desirable destination. And maybe it is just Kenny Galladay, but it is just Kenny Galladay for now. This is not, you know, some rinky-dink star. He's a legitimate wide receiver in the NFL. And he wants to come here. He wants to play here. Which means that this meeting, by the way, is really up for the coaches to decide whether or not Kenny is here. It's not up to Gettleman, and it's not going to be up to the um, medical staff, no matter what they tell you, because I think Kenny is healthy, and really what they're looking at is going to be his hip, and I think his hip has healed fully, so it's going to be the coaching staff. They're going to see if he fits with the offense. They're going to see if he fits with what they're trying to form here, and if we don't get him, which once again, I really think we're like literally just a smidge away from just officially putting his name on the dotted line. Um, put your put your questions towards Joe Judge and Jason Garrett, you know what I'm saying? Freddie Kitchens, the senior offensive assistant, uh, Tyke Tobert, the wide receivers coach and whatnot. But once again, I, I fully expect Kenny to be here and I'm so happy. It's probably going to happen, um, you know, very late today or sometime tomorrow and we'll all be celebrating. But that's it for now. Let me know what you guys think. I am really excited about the EFD signing. I'm really excited about the prospect of Kenny Galladay. And what did I tell y'all? Since my first, you know, free agency recap video on Tuesday, which was recapping Monday, I said, have patience. There's a lot of just time left for free agency. And there's a lot of players left for free agency. Everybody was so depressed day one. Patience is what y'all need to have sometimes. And it's working out. Giants fans are extremely happy right now, you know, turning around from being kind of depressed um just just go just go with it and give some credit to Dave Gellman man I know a lot of y'all hate him give some credit to him last year's free agency was almost perfect this year's free agency the only signing I think you could really get on him for is probably Devontae Booker because he may be a little bit overpaid but that's about it everything else in my opinion he's done spot on um put your comments down below that's it for now I'm out Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.